Hey there everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed for another shoebox unboxing for Operation Christmas Child. Today's shoebox was inspired by an intensely colored teddy bear that's packed inside this box for this little girl. And I decided to build the entire shoebox around bright colors. We're probably all aware that kids are more drawn to colors that are bright, like red, yellow, green, blue, and pink. But the psychology behind that is that these colors can help in creating a sense of positive energy and playfulness in kids, and they radiate happiness. So I am calling this box Color Me Happy. And it just so happens that tomorrow, Sunday the 22nd, happens to be National Color Day. So it's a great time for me to share this box with you. I wrapped it in the most colorful paper that I had, happens to be Paw Patrol. And I decorated the inside of the lid with some Crayola packaging that came from a Crayola Easter basket that was given to me by my friend Val from V. Swain Shoebox Sundays last year, I believe, last uh, Easter be before last. And um, some of the things from that Easter basket are inside this box. And then I used some foam stickers to write Color Me Happy across the top. And when this little girl opens her box and looks inside, she's going to see a whole lot of color. And this is the bear that inspired this box. Now is that... <laughs> A colorful bear or what I just love this bear I've had him for quite some time oh maybe even three years by now he came from after Valentine's Day clearance but I don't remember what store I, I got him got him in because I'm not I'm not recognizing this tag but anyway I love this bear it's a good size and it's so squishy and cuddly as you can see. I think a little girl is going to really love on that as soon as she opens up her box. She's also got a colorful xylophone and let me grab the tools that happen to have bears on the end of it. It makes a nice sound for a child. I think she'll enjoy that. And she's got one of those colorful fidget caterpillars. They make a great sound. They feel good in your hand. It's a great sensory toy. It's just fun to play with. Something else that I think will be a lot of fun for this little girl to play with is this colorful ribbon dancer. It's a nice long one and has a thickness to it. It's so pretty. She's got a bright yellow spiral notebook for when she starts school down the road. And I also gave her a little doodle book. I chose this one because of all the colorful crayons on the side of it. I think this came from the Dollar Tree in a pack of four. And it's just got plain paper inside. I stuffed some Crayola stickers inside. These came out of the Crayola Easter basket that my friend Val gave me. Oh, I guess the bear came from Walgreens. There's the other half of the tag. I guess it ripped off while I had it in the box. I thought the tag was bigger than that. But it was originally $4.99 and I think I got it at 80% off. She has a box of Crayola crayon bandages. They look like this. They look like a crayon. There's 14 in the box and I, this came from uh, the Target bullseye section for a dollar. I, I didn't open it so it just has band-aids in it. I didn't need the space so I didn't open it. She also has a little Crayola tin. It was actually from Lip Smackers. There's no Lip Smackers in it. I've had this tin for a few years and I've 
already put the lip smackers that came in it in previous boxes. But I saved the tin because I knew it would come in handy and it was perfect for this shoe box. It fits a pack of crayons nicely. I happened to give her this eight count package of neon crayons and three erasers that are shaped like crayons and then a big colorful striped eraser, pen and gear striped eraser. She has a bright orange Crayola pencil pack. It's orange and yellow. I think it's so pretty. And inside I packed it full of pencils. I think there are eight pencils in here and a pair of orange scissors, three washable markers, and I guess her erasers are in here. And then her pencil sharpener is this enclosed green pencil sharpener. So she'll have that for school. She has a bright, almost neon green bounce ball a Crayola cup and toothbrush that came from the Dollar Tree as a set. And then I included a yellow comb to go with it. She has an adorable t-shirt in these bright primary and secondary colors, red, violet, blue, green, yellow, and orange. I picked this up at the children's place on clearance and it's in a 5T. And then I paired it with this cute denim skirt that I got on clearance at Walmart for a dollar. It's the Garanimals brand. It's in a 5T. It has shorts underneath, like cotton knit shorts. So I guess you'd call it a skort maybe and it's pleated all the way around, has an elastic waist in the back. And I thought that looked really cute together. Then I gave her some really brightly colored socks to pull out the colors in her shirt, purple and green. And this really cute reversible hat that I thought went great with her outfit. It reverses to a smaller stripe on this side. And I, I got this at Walmart last year for a penny. Uh, this was one of their penny hats in the kids department. I guess they had marked them out of stock and I, I found several. So this one happens to be Paw Patrol. And look at how well it goes with her outfit. Also to go with her outfit, I gave her these colorful beaded bracelets with uh, cute little silicone charms on them, an ice cream cone, lollipop, and a, and a cupcake. And of course, some very fun, brightly colored hair accessories that I slipped into this bright orange organza bag. She's got a yellow and orange scrunchie, a bright, blue bow that I attached to a headband. And then some lime green hair elastics with those balls on the end. A couple of rainbow snap barrettes. A couple of daisy snap barrettes. And both of these snap barrettes are like glittery. And then some orange, plain orange snapperettes. I also included this really adorable board book, What Makes a Rainbow. And I originally purchased this book at TJ Maxx for $5.99 many, many, many years ago. I will take this off, but it's going to take some goo gone to get, get this particular sticker off. It was purchased for my grandkids' library that I've got for them downstairs. And I recently rated it for all the books that they've grown out of that still look brand new that are small enough to fit in a shoebox. And this 
happened to be one of them. And I thought it was perfect for this box. And it's really super cute. It has a different color on every page. And when you open it up, a ribbon comes out the back until you get to the end and a rainbow pops up. So she's got that. She's got a couple of pairs of underwear. One's a size four and the other's a size six. I gave her a little notepad that says on it, be colorful. That came from after Easter clearance at Walmart, nine cents. She has a Crayola Animal Friends coloring book. This is a, a fun one with a lot of great big images for her to color. And the first page is a sheet of stickers. Let's see if we can fit that right here. She has a puzzle, a 24-piece Crayola puzzle that also came in the Crayola Easter basket that Val gave me. And there's the puzzle that I'm keeping in the uh, plastic that it came in it because it keeps it nice and flat and it can be reused. This opens and can be restuck back and I gave her the box folded. I tucked in the flaps so that I could fit it in the bottom of the box. And it's it's either this or or this. I'm not sure which, which pic picture it is because I haven't opened it up. But she's got a cute puzzle. Something else that also came from the packaging of that Crayola Easter basket was this maze. So I decided to laminate it so it could be used over and over again with a dry erase marker that I've attached with a piece of tape and the marker already has the eraser attached. On the reverse side, I included the solution to the maze. This may be a little bit advanced for a two to four year old, but you can save it for later. Then of course, she's got a card, note, and photo from me. And the last thing in her box is the tote bag that I made her in this really colorful fabric that I got on clearance at Walmart. It was a fat quarter that I got for a quarter. I think I had to use two fat borders for this. And it's lined in orange. I added my little homemade with love tag. And on the flip side, I wrote by Trish. So she can tote her items home or to school. So that is my Color Me Happy shoe box that I packed for a two to four year old girl. I hope you enjoyed watching this one as much as I enjoyed packing it for this little girl. And I hope you were inspired. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for a little bit today. If you're unfamiliar with Operation Christmas Child, I invite you to visit the link in the video description below to learn more about it. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye now.